Hello winner, and you are watching the Temaster 8 channel, you want stuff for technology, fitness and everything else you can possibly think of, so make sure to subscribe guys, okay? Click that subscribe button right up there. Alright internet, today we'll be taking a look at the Final Cut Pro 10 and how to do voiceovers on it. Uh, doing voiceovers is very simple and it's a very useful thing and if, if you record um, gaming videos or you just want to get rid of the audio of your camera because it sucks. So um, it's pretty sim simple. As you can see, I'm already on Final Cut Pro 10 um, and all you have to do is drag a video, whichever clip you want to do the voiceover in. And uh, yeah, just drag the cursor to where you are planning on starting the audio recording. I'm going to drag it right here to the beginning of this clip. And once you drag it where you want to start the recording, Go up to window and then click on record audio right over here, right on the media browser. Click on record audio. And from here you can adjust the settings of your microphone input. So you can see input devices, it's usually gonna be on built-in microphone, so make sure you click your external microphone right now. I am using the blue snowball. Yes, I did have the blue yeti, but I completely disliked it. So I decided to downgrade to the blue snowball, and guess what? I saved fifty dollars and I highly recommend this one of the blue yeti because the blue yeti has a very hollow sound to it but anyways yeah click on the your microphone so you can see i clicked on stereo channels one and two and once you're ready to record just click on the red button right, right next to ready to record and bam so as you can see right now i am you know filming the asus iconia tab 500 it's a very nice tablet guys and yeah as you can see it's recording right now and the levels are perfect it's right in the middle and once you want to stop the audio recording, just click the space bar or click the red button again. Bam. And it says, so uh, to play it back, you you basically click the space button again. And as you can see, the voiceover is there. But now, let's take it a step further. Because the audio on the clip, the original audio is, is still there. So what you want to do is you want to drag that audio. So you can see, click on... Go beneath that and drag the audio down all the way to the negative 100 if you can. So that way you take the audio away from the from the clip and you stay with the voiceover. And bam, that's it. That's pretty much how you do audio, guys. It's very simple. Final Cut 10 is very consumer friendly and for some reason people are hating on that. But I mean, I find it useful because I was horrible at Final Cut Pro 10, 7. So yeah, um, that was it guys, a quick tutorial on how to do voiceovers on Final Cut Pro 10. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a uh, comment. And thank you for watching guys, so 10 Master 8, make sure to subscribe, comment, and rate. 10 Master 8 is out.